My name is Kelly Ramsey. I am the owner and head chocolatier of Art Eatables. Uh, we are a bourbon chocolate maker located in Louisville, Kentucky. So what we're known for are small batch bourbon truffles. Small batch bourbon truffle is a chocolate ganache center that's been infused with a bourbon or a different spirit. And in that case, then it's enrobed in more chocolate. Very different from a bourbon ball. Uh, bourbon balls are usually a confectionery sugar center with pecans or some type of uh, pecan meal and then coated in chocolate. In ours, uh, truffle is completely different. It's more of a European style candy. Uh, and we're actually a nut free um, chocolate shop. So we're the only bourbon chocolate makers in the country that are nut free. When you have one of our bourbon truffles, it's not just bourbon candy, it's an actual bourbon experience. In a general terms of a, eating a truffle, they're called two bite truffles. The first bite, you're going to taste the chocolate, whichever the chocolate that we've used. Um, if it's a dark chocolate, you're going to get a lot of rich cocoa flavors. And then the bourbon's going to swell up towards the middle, and then you're going to taste that bourbon, whether it has cherry notes or tobacco or leathery notes, and then it's going to finish with a nice chocolate and bourbon combo at the end. So depending on the truffle that you're having, your experience is going to vary. All of our bourbon truffles first start off with our proprietary blend of chocolates. And at that point, we will take the different bourbons. And it depends on which bourbon, depends on which chocolate we use for that one. And then they're coated in more chocolate at the very end and then topped with one of our signature bits. Everyone who makes truffles or candies, there's only so many stripes and designs you can put on a chocolate. Um, and with the bourbon ball, Everyone associates a bourbon ball with a pecan on top. So we were looking for something different because we created a product that wasn't out there. So what we did is we created a bit and it's our brand identification token. You will see that in all of our bourbon truffles and all of our other candies. And that's a way for us and our consumers to identify an Art Eatables product and also to identify the bourbon that's in that truffle. If it's bourbon, we pretty much use it or we have plans to use it. Currently, we're up to 65 different bourbons. We like to stay with the bourbons that are made here in Kentucky, but with a lot of the new distilleries and micro distilleries that are opened up across the country, we're having a lot of other um, options for bourbons. Eventually, we'll probably, hopefully, have two or 300 different pairings with different bourbons. The most popular bourbon uh, that people ask for will be Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark is a brand that everybody knows, whether you drink bourbon or not. And then second is Van Winkle or Pappy. For the longest time we had to say, I'm sorry, we don't have that. But now we actually do have a Pappy truffle. So whenever we can get a bottle, we'll make Pappy truffles and there'll be limited editions. So Art Eatables is located at 631 South 4th Street. Uh, we're located closer to Broadway. Uh, we're next door to the Palace and the Brown Hotel. So when you walk in through the door, you're always greeted with a friendly smile. We offer um, a variety of different bourbon truffles on the shelves at all times. We have about 30 to 40 different ones at any given day. We also sell bourbon themed gifts as well, um, bourbon spices and stuff like that. When you walk in, you know that everything that you see of all the chocolates and candies are made right here on site. The Louisville Landmark Series was a collection that we decided to, um, to do to help preserve Louisville. We live in a great city and there's a lot of historic buildings that uh, get funding, but there's also a lot of buildings that don't. We have Conrad Caldwell House, the Brennan House, which is near and dear to my heart because my husband and I were married there 12 years ago. Um, there's also Whitehall, the Thomas Edison, and Farmington. So basically the money that we collect on these chocolates go back to preserving Louisville and also helping the houses that are on the boxes themselves. So you're getting a piece of art, you're helping preserve Louisville's historic homes, and you're getting some wonderful chocolate as well. We were very fortunate to have the opportunity to have our truffles in the Oscar swag bags uh, for 2014. Um, sometime in 2013, I think it was June, we had a customer come in and we just, I just got talking about bourbon. You know, he was a big fan of bourbon and bought some truffles and he said they were for some families and friends and co-workers. Um, and I just left it at that. It was a great conversation about bourbon. A couple of weeks later, I got an email saying, hey, I was in your store. We had this conversation. I bought some truffles. Well. Um, a group of people that I work with love them and we would like to work with you. 
they had mentioned that they were had the opportunity to provide um, products for swag bags for the Oscars and asked if we'd be interested. But that's how we got in. It was just a customer who loved our products, loved our story, and was trying to help us, you know, grow. And so that's that's how it was. It's it's sort of bizarre and I pinch myself like that really happened, but it did. So <laughs> So what makes us different as a bourbon chocolate maker is the fact that we're making a bourbon truffle, which was a product that was never even on the market until we came along. And then also what we're doing though, we're not just making bourbon candy, we're not just throwing bourbon in, we actually paired the particular bourbons with a different chocolate. So you're gonna get a unique bourbon experience in each truffle.